Hi, welcome to Gadgets360. Today we are unboxing the new Asus Zenfone Live. Now this is a new model which doesn't fit into the Zenfone 3 series. It's more of a standalone product with a specific purpose aimed at a specific audience. The one defining feature of this phone is its live video beautification mode, which works with Facebook, Instagram and YouTube live video, as well as offline video for your own use later. So this is the retail box that the Zenfone Live comes in. Um, we've gone ahead and opened that already. But what you can see inside is the phone itself. Go ahead and unwrap that. A very small user guide. A standard USB charger micro USB cable and if you look carefully enough a SIM ejector pin. So the Zenfone Live is available in black and gold in India and this is the gold one that we have here and this is what it looks like. It's a fairly standard budget phone. The body is all plastic and it has a 5 inch screen right there in the middle of the front. You've got the power and volume buttons on the right, the 3.5mm audio socket on top, a dual SIM tray on the left, which is a hybrid SIM tray uh, and can take either two SIMs or one SIM and one micro SD card, and on the bottom an old style micro USB port and a single speaker grill. You can see the 5 megapixel front camera and LED flash right above the screen. Now Asus says that its live video beautification mode depends on hardware as well as software. So it's not just an app that anyone else can use on any other phone. The Zenfone Live is also supposedly the first and only phone in the world that has such a feature. So the Zenfone Live has a 5 inch 720p screen which is fairly okay for a low cost phone. What's more surprising is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 SoC which is now 4 years old and we haven't seen something this week on a smartphone in quite a long time. There's 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage which can be expanded but only if you're willing to go without a second SIM because there's a hybrid SIM slot. You also get a 2650mAh battery which isn't bad for a phone this small and light. You'll notice that there's no fingerprint sensor and no support for quick charging which once again tells us that this is a low-end phone. Thanks for watching. Leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Gadgets360.